please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Trace Manable. And I'm Eden Savoy. And, and welcome, welcome to Bash, Bash TV. TV. Today is Monday, November 8th, making today the official 53rd day of school and day one of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be cheesesteak, veggies, fruit, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be assorted cereal, fruit, assorted juice, and milk. Hey, Eden. Today we have special guests with us. Yeah, Mr. Phillips and Haley Kelmer are here to talk about a new club at BHS. Welcome, guys. Please tell us about your club. Our club is called Students Together Fighting Cancer. What is it? It's an opportunity for students to gather together in an effort to raise money for people struggling with cancer. Any student interested in planning and organizing the events throughout the year can sign up outside Room 11. If you have any questions, you can talk to me or Mr. Phillips regarding to STFC. The STFC sounds like a great way to help others. What are your goals for this club? Well, Eden, our school clubs and organizations do a great job of raising awareness for cancer by holding events such as a pink out, uh, jeans days for teachers, and so forth. We are just trying to branch out into the community. We like to hold some festivals and host them here uh, and raise some money for cancer research. We're also planning a, a cornhole tournament for the students and teachers alike, and hopefully we can raise even more money for cancer research. What an awesome opportunity. Please check it out. Mr. Phillips and Haley, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. That's it for the main desk. Now let's hear from Danny Dimes with FYI. Thanks, Trace and Eden. I'm Danny Dimes, and I think it's too early to have holiday decorations up. Let's get started with FYI. Congratulations to the girls' volleyball team for winning the district championship. The Lady Dogs shut out Nanticoke in three matches. Kaylee Hacker's serves were on fire with 22 service points. Cece Eisenberg had 23 kills, and Morgan Neville had 34 assists. Congratulations, ladies, and good luck as you head to the first round of state championships against Bethlehem Catholic. Any girl in 9th through 12th grade interested in playing softball in the spring, please stop by Coach Johnson's room 35 to sign up. More information will be shared for the season later this month. The November SAD meeting will be held on November 11th at 7.30 a.m. or 2.40 p.m. in the library. Tie-dyeing for Tree Fest will be done after the afternoon meeting. Seniors and juniors, the ASVAB will be given here on Monday, December 6th. Interested students should sign up in the guidance office before November 17th. There is no cost to take the test and no military obligation. The Berwick Elks Lodge is looking for student volunteers to help set up and clean up for two upcoming events. Interested students should see Mrs. Curry in the guidance office. Thursday, November 11th at 4.30 p.m. is the Veterans Day dinner. The homecoming ceremony and dance will take place this Friday beginning at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Tickets for the dance are on sale in the guidance office. Tickets are $10 each in advance and $15 at the door. Homecoming ceremony is $2 at the door. Guest passes must be submitted to Mr. Bennett in the front office for any student who does not attend Berwick High School. All guest passes must be submitted for approval by Wednesday, November 10th. Students who would like to hear information on the Upward Bound program should sign up in the guidance office. The information session will be held on Wednesday, November 10th during period 7. Current Upward Bound students will be available to answer questions. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude, we'll leave you with today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Cheyenne Ackerley and Bryce Johnson.